Greetings all, Adrian here from Events by MVDJ Services, here with another blog entry. I've missed a, a few weeks, try to do one every week, but that's not going to happen but as often as I can, but I've been doing other stuff. I posted some videos of some previous weddings I did, and some dances, and some playlists, and some photos, and other things, so check those out on the Facebook page, facebook.com slash events by MB. There's a, a link in the video, uh, below the video. Um, I've also been working on my house with my wife. If you like DIY stuff and and house renovation blog stuff, check out my wife's blog, stpaulhouse.com, S-T-P-A-U-L-H-A-U-S.com. She, uh, the link's also below. She, uh, we'll, we will get her in front of the camera to do some video stuff once they, once the kitchen is completed, we'll do a, a little tour of that. But this, this week's question, I post uh, on Facebook again for, uh, if people want to ask specific questions, this one was from... Uh, Mrs. Cleveland, a previous bride I've worked with. I have some other ones who've responded with questions. I'll be answering those ones coming up too. But her question was uh, about what makes a couple or a customer easy to work with and sort of the uh, vendor customer et et etiquette, uh, customer etiquette expectations uh, when working with things. Um, the, the main thing, I guess, is just communicate with me. Be responsive, whether it's email, phone call, text, whichever you prefer to communicate with, because there are a lot of things that need to be lined up and get answered prior to the date, uh, as far as timelines and music and other things like that. And if I don't have those things that can get rushed, I try and get information at, at a minimum at least two weeks before the date of the event so I can plan things because there are other things that are going on that might come up and I want to make sure I have time to get, get to everything uh, so it's prepared for your special event with that. And then just talk about what you want, what your sort of expectations are of the night, whether, like I said, whether that's the music or the lighting or the flow of the evening or how much I you want me to be in control of things. If you want me to come and find you for the first dance and make sure it happens on time, or if you just want to go with the flow and as things happens, uh, let them happen. I'm fine either way, and also with announcements and other stuff like that. And then also utilize just utilize my. I guess services and and be creative if you do uh, want to try something new with the the music or the introductions or anything else like that with my pricing I always say that for free consultation and, and other things like that I've done a hundred plus weddings and other events so if you need ideas for for songs or anything else feel free to ask if you want to have a grand entrance with five different songs chopped up and mixed together or, or voiceovers or sound effects things like that uh, be creative and try things out with lighting if you want something projected on the wall or if you want different colors or different things like that be creative um, uh, with that as well uh, you wanna you wanna ask somebody who's been doing stuff when you're planning your wedding of course a lot of people use wedding planners as they can be very helpful I've worked with a lot of great wedding planners I've worked with some some not so great wedding planners uh, so it, it, it can be helpful but as long as you have someone who has the experience of a wedding if it's your first wedding uh, which it usually is, and you don't have anybody around you in your family to help, either get a get a wedding planner or ask another vendor if they can provide you with some advice on things and answer those questions, because there a lot does go into it. Um, and then I guess with other vendors, again with wedding planners, of course, the, I guess just trust in in my abilities and experience. I I may be younger in. Uh, and things like that, but I've done a lot of weddings, a lot more than a lot of wedding planners, so I've been around the block, if you will, so I sort of know my way, so don't uh, tell me what to do, if you will. Be polite and, and communicate in that aspect uh, with uh, food. I, I like eating. I don't expect to be fed at weddings. I do enjoy it, uh, but if I'm at a wedding from 3 to midnight, I just want to know if I'm being fed or not, so I can plan in advance and bring a bag lunch or whatnot, so I'm not uh, angry and starving by, by midnight and, and all that. So. Uh, just communicating what uh, with the vendors if if you're planning to, to feed me or not and just so they know and everything can happen uh, photographers and, and videographers of course do a lot of great work as well uh, the only thing that comes up with them sometimes is, is I, I try and have my setup so it's nice and neat and laid out wires hidden uh, scrim or draping on tables and stuff so it, it looks nice and then sometimes they'll come and stick a a huge light pole in front of my setup and things like that. It's fine, of course. It makes the video great, but if you can try and ask me about that or 
or just communicate with me if with with lighting I do my best to keep any sort of things that will mess up the videos or or photos until after the first dance or so um, and uh, just communicate with me as well uh, for venues just make sure there's enough room for the DJ uh, there's a lot of once again great venue venues out there I did a video on my top 10 venues a little while ago but some venues they try and do more than maybe they should they try and cram a lot of stuff into a small space it's gonna happen a lot with a lot of I guess older older venues that get turned into wedding venues like old mansions and places they try and jam a lot into a small space so I've set up in three by five corners of rooms and it really inhibits what I'm able to do so uh, just make sure there's enough space in the area and then just communicate what the setup expectations are and understand I do need time to set up and break down so letting me get in the room prior and allowing me the time to break things down and get things out afterwards but uh, I guess those are just some of the expectations when working with brides that I like to brides and grooms whoever's uh, doing the, the majority of the, of the wedding planning and then other vendors if you have any questions about that feel free to leave a comment also like I said check out some of the other videos I made if you have any questions anything you'd like me to talk about feel free to leave a comment send me a message tweet poke whatever else works email let me know and uh, thank you for watching